So there we are, a Kevlar hinge. That's the stuff they make bulletproof vests out of, so that should be right. And this piece was just uh, hanging by a thread off the front edge, literally by a thread. So I'll just put a couple of tabs on that to put it back in place. I won't do a full repair on that. Someone else can do that. Get some paste on here. There we are. That's that done. Almost. Just touching those areas with brown and we'll be finished. Right, it's done. And the colour wheel, very clever really, because there are little holes there that engage with these little nubs on the raised surface of the colour wheel. So that when you put the thing on the front and project it through the particular colour that you wanted for that scene, when you quickly spun it, it would always stop and locate exactly opposite the lens. That's the lens aperture. And it does actually align itself when it stops. She's very clever. I've had to move this um, colour wheel arm over to the other side of the lens arrangement. Otherwise the colour wheel would have struck the crank handle as it comes forward. So that goes on there and the original little fixing arrangement, whatever that was, is missing. So I fitted this little piece of rubber just to hold that on there for our purposes.
it's all nicely polished up now. And uh, it's about 80 years old and it will still be quite capable of showing films 80 years from now. Providing it isn't repurposed into some horrible table lamp or suffers a similar fate. So this could give a film show 80 years from now when your Blu-ray player and uh, iPhone have been landfill three quarters of a century.